These are mixing tanks. It's where I preheat all of the solution, the slurry, pump it from this pump out of the bottom of each one of these individually, and pump it up and over to my reactors, which are over here. First one here we have R2D2. We have heating elements. One, two, three, four, and then there's two more in here. And then there's another one around on the other side. Preheating the oil inside this tank to 300 degrees. And we have up here the uh, pressurized bearing cooling system. Um, where feed, my slurry comes into R2D2 here, C3PO back there. And it sits in these tanks at 300 degrees, give or take a little, um, for about an hour. When we come out of here, uh, we come out of here, boop, boom, there, discharge. C3PO, or C3PO, R2D2. The guy who invented this stuff really had a great sense of humor. And he likes Star Wars. Um, this is the air power to all my pumps in this area right here air pressure into the reactor. It's pumped out of the reactors hot into this press and once it comes out of here all of the solids are taken out. What it looks like right there, that mess down there. Everything drains into this tank hot and then I have cleaned calcium chloride solution that's pregnated with precious metals and if I don't like the color of it I just pump it right back out right back out right back into the press a couple of times and make sure that it's all clear once I'm done with that I pump it out of this tank and come back over here to my precip tank which is right here and I drain it right into this thing keeping it warm with steam um, and we add whatever chemicals we need to add to drop out whatever metals we want to drop out right now we're just going for the gold because the investors like the gold <coughs> once the solution is pumped out of once the solution is done in here and we've precipitated it's pumped back out of here via this pump straight back to the press all of the material is cleaned out of it again and further down the road, if we want, we'll be running it back and forth to any one of these tanks right here for dropping out gold, silver, copper, lead, zinc, whatever. And then, once we're done with it out of the press, then it goes back over here again to these storage containers where we start the process all over again, reusing all the solution that we've already generated. Minimizes waste, and our costs, and since we're on a <clears throat> shoestring budget, saving everything we can is a good thing. And that's pretty much uh, my job, what I've done so far. When I moved in, when I came here six months ago, none of this stuff was hooked up, none of it was in place, and I've pretty much put this entire place together with the help of a couple of people. Um, and made it all work, which is kind of amazing not knowing anything about it when I started. So, once we're done with the precip, uh, we take the precip, drain it out of the bottom of that tank via a pump, and we, uh, what do we do with it? Bucket it up, and we carry it all over here to our lab, where we start testing it. The original gentleman used to take it down to a Sarco and just have it smelted. He didn't do a whole lot of his own refining here. This is my lathe for working out my shafts. There's a giant drill press. Never used that one, but it works. Turned it on. We have this little drill press here. This is the one I use. And there's a pile of dirt. Kind of cool. This is coming with us when we move. Hey, my button's beeping. Um, storage and tools. Let's see if I can get in here. Pretty clever. Huh? Let me 
come back to our lab, this is the office part of it. And we come in here and we do a little chemical testing. We have a new chemist who seems to be doing pretty good. We got copper out yesterday. All of this stuff was here. Well, it was here on site. We rebuilt this room and turned it into our lab. We have our ventilation hood. We have a 2000 degree furnace. This is kind of cool right here. It's a little flotation, test flotation. So whatever ore or dirts we're running, we can test it in this to get the right chemical compounds together to float our materials out. And then this is our little tester. Mm, little test furnace. And it gets pretty hot. Another one of those things I get to test to make sure it works. Crucibles little test crucibles. I got everything I need here to do what we need to do. And this is uh, something Jim came up with yesterday. Uh, kind of cool. That's mill solution that's been run. So it's pretty cool. I don't I don't play around in here a lot. I do a lot of the mechanical work. So that's basically it. That's <laughs> arsenic removal and uh, uh, precious metal recovery is what we're working on. In the next month or so we should have it all hooked up, running, operational, and making money. Took us six months to do it. Hopefully it doesn't take us six months to make some money. Anyway, there you go. That's my job. Lights out. Back later. Have a nice day. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. And all the work has been, everything gets torn apart, put together, and re... Everything happens right here. And when it gets really cold up here, I have my pot belly stove to keep me warm. With the most expensive uh, stack in town, that's a 10 to 8 foot piece of uh, titanium, 6 inch titanium. Great. Works really good. Well, that's work. Hopefully it starts paying off. When we start making some gold, I'll do another little tour and show you how we make the gold.